Hi everyone, in view of this, AI is going to take all our jobs. I want to address everyone on the entertainment industry to give them a heads up of what is fantasy and what is real. Now, this video is not intended to be fear mongering, it's just a heads up so you can take action before it's too late for your particular position in the industry. Here we go. For those who don't know me, I'm a broadcast engineer, a previously director of R&D and in camera VFX for View Studios. I've been working in virtual production before it was even called virtual production with camera tracking solutions and motion control systems. I'm currently on several SMT RAS groups helping to recommend new metadata structure for virtual production and film production and part of other SMT 2110 metadata transports groups. My primary focus as engineers are R&D and API hardware integration and machine learning training and implementation. First, I want to acknowledge the fact that, that the current problems in our industry are not over yet. And also on us is on cue, my heart and thoughts goes to everyone in need, especially the different professions that depend from this industry. So let's talk about the future. Let me set up the stage talking about the big breakthroughs in AI before we talk about what's next in our industry. As many of us working on R&D, we love to play with the latest toys and that new toy in 2022 started with text to image, image to image and image to video. And then we have all the variations, text to audio, audio to audio, text to 3D avatar and audio to 3D avatar. Body motion capture, face motion capture, video to motion capture. Every combination that you can think of these tools are getting more flexible, more versatile, and exponentially smarter month by month. But soon after, with the introduction of ChatGPT, many of us working on machine learning applications understood that this was the big breakthrough that will bring us closer than ever to AGI. Breaking the cold natural language meant that you now can create the bridge between humans and computers without computer code and that's the real big deal large language models as operating systems fast forward again to november 2023 when OpenAI introduced gpts we finally have the last piece of the puzzle that allows llms to create phds on any subject and that's the road to hci artificial general intelligence and when you put all those pieces together, Asia is not science fiction anymore. And the problem is that we're not ready yet for what is coming. It's not the end of the world, but it will take many white collar shots as fast as next year. At the top are professionals that have to deal with logic systems like lawyers and even programmers. So is this a surprise for humanity? No, not even close. You should read the book, The Age of Spirit of Machines by Ray Kurzweil. This book predicts pretty much every technological milestone since 1999, from of course the 1999 point of view. But for the last 24 years, his predictions were spot on. The problem is that HGI was predicted on this book in 2029. Although this book is not an oracle, it's very realistic predicting the shop displacement that HGI is going to create. The solution on this book for the mass loss of shops in 2029 or whenever HGI is achieved is the creation of UBI, Universal Basic Income, which is similar to the pandemic check that took out of the street millions of homeless and allowed millions of Americans to survive during the hard times. And although there are many arguments against and in favor of UBI, the more you analyze the alternatives, UBI's end up being the best alternative. It's estimated that after AGI is achieved, the unemployment rate is going to be between 50% and 80%. So now at least you understand why all this drama at OpenAI, that even if they didn't achieve AGI, which in my opinion they did, they already created tools for this to happen. Another change to be made, according to the book, is the full digitalization and centralization of currency, which cryptocurrency appears to be the right alternative since it's the only medium that can achieve the desired money velocity for this type of economy. And now you understand why Sam Abma is working on his Wallcoin crypto project and why Larry Summers, an economist, is part of the new OpenAI board and why this surprise announcement from the White House it's all related and the same thing. HAI is here, full stop. Of course, you're going to have all those naysayers that we're not there yet, but we are already at the edge. Now that we established where we're at, let's talk about the future. So what it looks like job displacement for the film industry. So 
So rather than going one by one position, I want to highlight the new tools that are coming to the entertainment industry next year. So what's next? Let's talk about CEOs. Let me explain the next generation of AI tools and you can do your own math. Imagine a swarm of robots that can automize every white collar activity. CEOs are going to resemble more to a war room than an actual office, where a new generation of AI CEOs companies are going to emerge. Now, the actual CEO will still be a human for accountability, but the amount of tools never seen before will take over many advisors and consultants into one unified control center that will be able to predict greater entropy's futures. So what's next? On the film production side, an extension of AI-assisted CEOs will include a full AI-assisted production system, micromanaging every single aspect of a movie production and every single aspect of a budget. AI-assisted production system will be managed by Hollywood Accounting GPT. That will decide, based on its Hollywood accounting capabilities, the optimal decisions for making the project's operations and budget. This will include full succession management, vendors coordination and even negotiations. This system is going to be connected to each position from the pre-production, production, and post-production workflow. Sometimes wasting a lot of money is the name of the game. Some other time spending less is best. Go figure. So I'm not sure that Hollywood Accounting GPT will favor shorter days and shorter hours because you know, Hollywood Accounting. So overall the creator side is going to be very effective because how fast AI tools are replacing long production process. And as you can see on this list, my prediction is that AI is going to create more budget effective and time effective productions, reducing working days. So technically that will be the economic problem for crews. It's not because AI will replace humans, it's just the amount of days in production. Studios will also create more synthetic productions. Ironically, by 2025, Hollywood will produce more content than ever in history, spending less money. But on the other side, I believe that the new independent productions will generate the same amount of blockbuster money if you choose the right distribution system. Crypto production is the industry that started all this new revolution on the film industry. And being part of this industry, I can tell you that there are no signs of slowing down. It's fair to say that although virtual production appears to come from nowhere, it's nothing more than real-time system replacing green screens and post-production. Virtual production is constantly evolving with new techniques that allows old worlds to live together. Manipulating friends, we can capture multiple setups at the same time. There's currently no better green or blue screen than LED volumes because it gives you the flexibility to allow the talent to see where's he at. And has been proved multiple times that the talent needs to see where's he at and this is one way to do it even if you're not gonna capture that backdrop now we have new techniques that allow us to do both and although virtual production is not directly related to artificial intelligence it's the tools that we're building what is going to amplify the use of virtual production generative ai images were the first in doing a big splash last year i would say that storyboard artists were the first to be impacted now anyone can generate the storyboards although in my opinion the best result comes from actual storyboard artists who understand that this is another tool but yeah this is another piece of the puzzle for the shop displacement in the pre-production process high-end cgi artists are already in the scope when real-time tools like unreal engines were slowly replacing them with pre-production workflows epic games put a lot of effort trying to bring those artists to unreal engine during the past in my opinion having worked with traditional vfx the pre-production workflow is more problematic than trying to save budget in post-production. I really want to make a full video on this, but the reality is that there is no one solution. It's a combination of all the tools. On top of that, we have now new AI tools that can create 2.5D graphic backdrops. NVIDIA is fully invested on AI-generated 3D assets for digital twin workflows with OpenUSD. And this is part of the big project that allows engineers to fully simulate and train AI models for robotics. But for us, the BFX industry is all about assets. This is going to accelerate production, but the 3D props industry will be highly affected. Gaussian splatters are taking over the industry faster than you can learn the tool. And although it's still limited, this is going to get better and better in a matter of months. 
good example of how LED volumes are getting more versatile. It's a demo that we did for Aperture at Cine Gear 2023 to demonstrate the new Real Engine 5 features for DMX real-time control. I think it's important for gaffers to start learning Unreal Engine from the lighting point of view. And, the, and that includes Unreal Engine, light effects, and even the skies on their LED control system. So what's next? Stereoscopy 3D is the next frontier on Transmedia, and that can be done independently. Big studios are going to continue doing their big studio stuff, but independent productions have more tools than ever in history to do it by their own. With tools like blockchain and 7021 10 metadata embedding, we can produce new content attached to blockchains corresponding to each percentage of the whole product. The system will allow to generate residuals to the film crew and anyone working on those projects if you want. Interactive content will be considered gaming projects. All movies will be transformed into VR content as a gaming project. In less than two years, most of the content will be tailored for VR first. I think the next step is to pay attention to all the AI tools and learn the tools. I personally will be teaching to build all these tools on this channel. So like and subscribe, blah, blah, blah. So what I think about the new generation of AI tools, writers are the big victims from AI, right? Wrong. In reality, writers are going to become the next generation of programmers. Programmers know this. I'm not sure writers understand the power that they have on this new brave world. Programming is not about computer programs anymore. It's just about logic through language. It's fair to say that we went back to rhetorical battles where words make a difference. At the end of the day, using all these AI tools is my own autobots, eating my own tail. By the time that we start working again, I will have all the tools to replace myself. The reason I don't care to teach these tools is that in reality, anyone can learn this in one hour. So I feel that there is something else that has to be done. So what I'm doing from the machine learning side is teaching humans these new tools to allow them to exponentially grow their natural abilities with AI. I'm not selling a system this is for free and also teaching computer models love and empathy besides working on virtual production as a neurodiversion i believe that ai needs help and we have the tools to educate ai where ai lacks and that's love and empathy i also wrote the book called ai and kabbalah teaching computers love and empathy available for pre-order or joining my patreon you have the book for free i know that a lot of people is with very good reason afraid of AI, but please understand this. Even us creating these new tools, we are well aware of the problems and possible solutions. I just want to tell everyone on this industry that I'm not a pessimist because I believe that AI could potentially solve every single problem in this world. Mathematically, it's possible. One or not, AI is inevitable. And AI not only can solve quantum problems, but also social economic problems if you allow them to do it. Now, please don't doubt to reach me out here in the comments or even on LinkedIn. So don't be afraid to reach out for help. If you're a well-paid actor, well-paid director, well-paid producer, please support my effort to teach AI love and empathy. I accept any donations. I'm here fighting the good fight. Here's my Patreon, here's my Venmo, and here's my crypto wallet. Thank you, and see you next time.